What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and we got to talk about this 25-game suspension John Morant just got. It's a lot of people on social media saying Adam Silver went way too soft on the Grizzlies star. You know, they thought he would get close to 50 games, at least 40, but it's nowhere near that. 25, and Ja's not getting paid. Now, Ja, they're projecting he's going to lose right around $50 million when you think about him not making first, second, or third all-NBA team. The eight games he wasn't paid for the suspension he already had and the 25 games he's going to serve right now. Um, then you have to look at this. Ja's not guaranteed to come back in 25 games. He has to complete this extensive plan um, that they're going to map out for him. So there's no more checking into your rehab on your own volition or none of that. You got to go. Uh, what to what the league says all of this stuff will be instituted by the league and he will have to follow whatever they say do whoever they say go see whatever community service you have to do it'll be all from the NBA so let's take a look at what Stephen A. Smith said he said he don't believe him but Shannon Sharp said his prayers his way he's off of TV so you could kind of get a look into what Shannon has to say and Emmanuel Acho also weighed in let's check it out so I got a statement from John Morant that mm -hmm. was shared with me uh, by his agent what? John Morant says I've had time to reflect and I realize how much hurt I've caused, I want to apologize to the NBA, the Grizzlies, my teammates in the city of Memphis, to Adam Silver, Zach Kleiman, and Robert Perra, who gave me the opportunity to be a professional athlete and have supported me. I'm sorry for the harm I've done to the kids who look up to me. I'm sorry for failing you as a role model. I promise I'm going to be better. To all my sponsors, I'm going to be a better representation of our brands. And to my fans, I'm going to make it up to you. I promise. I'm spending the offseason and my suspension continuing to work on my own mental health and decision making. I'm going to be training so that I'm ready to go when I can be back on the court. I know my teammates are going to hold it down and I'm so sorry I won't be out there with you at the beginning of the season. I hope you'll give me the chance to prove to you over time that I'm a, that I'm a better man than what I've been showing. That is from John Morant. I'm told the Grizzlies are going to have a statement of their own here out in minutes. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Woj. John Morant. <clears throat> Nobody believes you, bro. Nobody believes you. I don't say that flippantly. I'm a fan of John Morant. He is a superstar that I want this game to celebrate for years and years to come. Me. Speaking for everybody here, I believe, not just here at ESPN, but in the world of sports, why would we root against you? Because it's better for all of us that you just put your greatness on display with no troubles whatsoever, because I believe this man will win the championship. It wouldn't surprise me if he won the championship next year after he comes back, because I think he'll be hell of hot. But the fact of the matter is, John Moran, and I'm speaking directly to John Moran and his family, the reason why you're not believed is because you already lied. And that statement that Adrian Wojnarowski, the ultimate insider, just read on the national airwaves that he received from your agent, okay? I'm not casting aspersions on your agent or anybody else. I'm saying it sounds somewhat similar to what you said on camera months ago with your first suspension. So he has, John Moran has to understand you're not believed. Nobody believes the thing that you're saying right now. You going you really are in a show and prove point. You're at a show and prove point. We know what you could do on the basketball court, but now it's a show and prove element when it comes to your character. Mm -hmm. Because the mistakes you made, you not only looked Adam Silver in the face, you went on that on camera on national TV getting interviewed by Jalen Rose, and you clearly lied. You want to know the only thing more expensive than the California state tax? The stupid tax that John Moran's paying. Officially suspended 
25 games. Now, let me give you all the real deal information that you need to know. Why 25 games? Because in the NBA starting this year, if you do not play 65 games in a season, you're not eligible for postseason awards. Meaning, John Morant, by being suspended 25 games, can only play a maximum of 57 games. Therefore, he can't make an all NBA team. He can't make, uh, he can't be the defensive player of the year. He can't be an NBA MVP because he will not meet the minimum requirement of games. So 25 games is the initial punishment, but the secondary punishment is eliminating him from any postseason awards. Keep in mind, he already lost out on $40 million, a $40 million contractual escalator by being suspended so many games this past season that voters didn't put him on an, on an all NBA team. The stupid tax that John Morant is paying is not only costing him dollars, but also the front row seat as the face of the NBA here in the next couple of years. Do not pay the stupid tax and John Moran paying it in excess. So Shannon Sharp reacted to it. He said, hopefully John's getting the help he needs and the 25 game suspension levied by Commissioner Civil will be temporary setback for an all time great comeback. More people are praying and pulling for John that he knows. And so Shannon, you can see he has somewhat of a different tone well, no, I ain't even going to say that because he was always hoping Ja just left the BS alone. He was only critical on Ja for repeated behavior and trying to be tough. But I don't even think that was critical. He's more so looking at what could have happened to Ja as far as playing that role. So I think Shannon really genuinely just wants Ja to leave the BS alone and be a basketball player. I don't think he really had any real animosity towards him other than you know, them trying to play his boy LeBron James. He was mad about that. He got out of his body that night. But all in all, I think Shannon really likes and enjoys him as a basketball player. Ja, he has to complete all this stuff without any distraction. So, no Instagram, no Twitter. The challenge is going to be, it's easy to be on the straight and narrow for a little bit, but the challenge is going to be all this idle time that you have when you're not doing the things instituted by the NBA because I'm sure part of the test that they're gonna if if they're smart part of the test is okay yeah we get him the help he needs and everything but he's still gonna have his free time we're not gonna overly monitor him we're gonna see what he does when he has to be away from basketball I think that's probably the bigger part of the test than doing the things that they want him to do to come back. See how he uses his time. What is he doing to fill in those gaps where he's making bad decisions? What is he choosing to do? You know, Ja, going out in public, people going to say stuff. You know, when you have to go shopping, maybe somebody should do your shopping for you. It's going to be a lot of people trying to bait Ja in, and he'll have more access to that if he chooses. Now, he could have people do things for him, do his runs for him, and lock himself away, stay on the grind. And that's going to be important, too. He's going to have to just keep himself in great shape, which hasn't been a problem, and make sure he does all his rehabs and everything, um, recovery, all that. But he just needs to work on being a much – he needs to work on being a much better team leader. He needs to use this as a reset. Yes, a suspension by nature and, and and why we got here, but he should use it as a reset. Go back to who you were as a personality, a hungry person grinding to get to the NBA because he did not get to this level choosing the streets over basketball. You know, Ja is a wonderful player, and he has a chance to change this whole narrative around. And I'm hoping he does that, man. But shoot, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.